morning, guys. Oh, I'm so swollen. How are you doing, Mr. Bear? I'm, I'm okay, thanks. Sorry, I'm looking a bit rough. This is. I've got my new New Zealand look, which is hat, <laughs> coat, and very long beard. And now I look like a little boy. As Mrs. Scott said, I don't know if you can see the scenery. Hang on, can we? No, I don't think we can flip round. We'll just show you some scenery. We're driving to Dunedin. Via Timaru and Amaru. Amaru. I'm hoping to see penguins. Not in a zoo. Real penguins. Not the chocolatey ones. Can you see there over in the distance? Can you see all that? I don't think so. Well, they might be able to see. They're Basically, really, really really beautiful good. mountain ranges is covered in snow. Yeah, and we've so. got to drive through that on our way home. You can see out the back there. That's on the way to Mount Cook. Anyhow, um, yeah, so we're hoping to see non-chocolatey, non-zoo real penguins, aren't we? Sure are. When we were here last year, we saw, wow, we see seals there. Eh? Where did we see a seal the other week? Was it Turkey? In Turkey. In Turkey. But we saw a seal in Wellington. Two seals. We were basically up and personal with a seal in Wellington. You they did, really didn't it? you? They were like, oh my god, it's been a zoo lion and it was live. <laughs> so, we are... Um, hoping to see some nature. I like pingos. We will film when we are getting nearer the, um, nearer the yeah. destination. This place is um, very flat. As my mum would say, it's a bit flat as a fart. But then there's massive hills over there which you can't see. So um, it's quite cold, isn't it? It is. But do you prefer cold or hot? That's been the debate today. Um, or a cold country? Well, of course I prefer the heat. But it does. it is winter here, bear in mind. And we are pretty uh, close to the Antarctic, so... Well, we're a lot closer than most. <laughs> but, uh, I'm going to see in my car girl and get close to the Antarctic. We need to go to Bluff Point. We do need to go to Bluff Point, but we're not going to bore you anymore. We'll film we'll our next We'll see you guys later. Yeah, we'll go get some lunch, I think. Yeah, lunch. Mm, hungry. Oh, I've got a point of me and I didn't want that. Hey, guys, look at this. This is Timaru <laughs> on the coast. Isn't it pretty? That's a very cool part that goes all the way and then you go right down to the beach and the beautiful snow-capped mountains in the background. <coughs> Excuse me. The fresh air is clearly killing me. <laughs> it's very, very pretty. What do you think? It's beautiful. It is, isn't it? Look for one to the front. I don't think we have time, Mr. Bear. We have plenty of time. Come on. Mm. Sounds like exercise. Way in the room. I like the way in the room. I like the way. I like the way. I like the way you move. I like the way you move. I like the way. Dance move. I like the way. It's a very long drive to Tony, isn't it? Oh, really? Hello, it's four and a half hours. Good company, good food. Oh, yeah, good company. Beautiful scenery. It's a breeze. I'm surprised how flat it is. It's very flat, isn't it? And Scott went shopping again. Oh, do you like his jacket? He's the Mac Daddy in there now. That's why he's got these new funky jeans on his neck. It is. He's really looking at you. I will. You just look at the road because you can go. Um, so, uh, I'm thinking you have this about you. I don't want to see you anything anymore. I want you to go home and go down to the bottom of the stairs. Wow, it's good. Dunedin Town Centre. It's actually quite cute when you actually find the town centre bit, isn't it? Mrs. Scott's going to try not to go shopping, aren't you? I'm going to shopping now. I want to buy a magnet though. Can I have a magnet, please? Nope. So mean to me. Look, look at the pretty church and everything. You see how kind of English it all is here. I don't know if we'll make it past the train station again. Ah, oh, we showed you that on a video yesterday. 
There seems to be no kind of like centre of this place, does it? Like all it, there's no like shopping centres, which makes it very hard for me. You have to go from one shop to another and know where you want to go. I need to be easily spoon fed shopping. So this is preventing me from shopping, which is bad. Hey Grumpasaurus, where are you going? Mm -hmm. Shopping. What do you think of the train station, mister? Wee bien. Wee bien. It was good. Oh, very cute, isn't it? I know this place is well known for its architecture. It's very Scottish. I think I read that in a guidebook once. No, I told you. What, you told me it was very Scottish? Yeah, I told you it was very Scottish. It's very cold, which is very like Scotland. <laughs> Nice blue sky, so it brings blue out the wrinkles. I'm sorry, Bear, but, but we both look super wrinkly here, don't we? The cold made us wrinkly. Oh, this place is so pretty. There he is again. Look, the little ticket counter. Did you go out and have a look out? So much attention to detail. These were built around late 1800s. This is the busiest train station in New Zealand. Oh, you can get a train to somewhere here. Oh, we should see if we can go today. Oh, here we go. Here's where we go. To the seaside or the to gorge. Oh, I should have known about this before. We'd have gone. Isn't it cute? Oh, here we go. Ticket office. There you go. Train station. Ticked off the list of places to go. I want to capture this on here because Edinburgh, a bra, if, if you're down orchard, is 18,869 kilometers away, which means our Sensi Go has traveled that far already. That's pretty amazing. That's wrong because Portsmouth below, which is down the southern side of England, is 14,500, and there's no way there's 3,000 kilometers between the pair of them. It might be different Portsmouth. You've not taken that into consideration. Might be 4,000 kilometers to Portsmouth. Do you want to point out that error? Anyhow, that's how far our Sensi Go's travelled so far. It's like to the moon and back or something, isn't it? Or something. <laughs>